Okay, we're standing here in uh, our new Africa exhibit. It's the uh, Jamaqua Africa is the name of it. It means connection to Africa, and we hope that visitors to the zoo this year will feel a connection to Africa after uh, seeing the new exhibit. Um, the main animal in the new exhibit are two eastern black rhinos. These uh, animals are semi-solitary, so they sort of live alone, um, but we have two of them, a male and female, and hopefully someday they will breed and uh, help repopulate the rhino species. Um, black rhinos are critically endangered in the wild. They're being hunted for their horns. Um, something like 600 rhinos were hunted last year, and there's only maybe 5,000 of them left. So uh, there's, there's a big problem with rhinos um, being hunted in the wild. Ayana here, she's our large female. She's about 2,100 pounds. So with such a big animal, they eat a lot of food. So she'll get about 30 pounds of hay a day, 10 pounds of grain, produce, ca carrots, apples, sweet potatoes, um, and browse, which is just tree branches that they really like to eat. So in the wild, they're getting poached at tremendous rates, especially in South Africa. They're taking about two rhinos per day. And it's all because of this horn here, which is made entirely up of keratin. Same thing that's found in our fingernails and in our hair. And so the poachers, they'll, you know, take these animals' lives, cut off their horn, and they'll sell it on black markets in, in some Asian countries. We want people to be aware of the rhino, uh, what's happening to the rhino. And so we're very excited to feature the rhino. Also in this exhibit is uh, Cory Bustards, which are the largest flighted bird. Elan, which is a large antelope, um, African spurred tortoise, and an aviary. Um, the exhibit will also give an, a new view of the giraffe exhibit because we're north of, of the giraffe exhibit, and so um, people have never been able to see the giraffes this way before. Um, it has a Maasai hut that you can uh, take a peek into the ostrich yard, and um, we're also going to be building a uh, pavilion that's an educational pavilion. 